What is up crypto peeps? So before we get into this Bitcoin futures price manipulation video, I had a couple announcements that I wanted to make. First of all, thank you so much for your support. The channel's been growing steadily. The Discord group is booming with vibrant discussions. And I just want to thank you all for your support. So we'll be doing a Bitcoin giveaway. It's 7,000 subscribers. We're very close to that. So be sure to leave your crypto addresses in the comments. All right, second announcement. Since starting the channel, I've been getting swamped with requests for one-on-one -on -one coaching, portfolio analysis, trade alerts, private calls, technical analysis training. And as you may know, this is still a one-man operation. I don't even have a video editor. So all the writing, the preparation, the filming, all that is done by me, including the Discord group management and the website development, which is currently in progress. So all that is taking up so much of my time. I don't even have a minute to myself, let alone time to fulfill these special requests. And while I'd love to get to everybody's requests, I simply can't do it without jeopardizing the free content that I'm providing in the form of the YouTube video and the Discord channel. And if you've followed me for a while, you know that under no circumstances am I gonna compromise that or jeopardize that in any way for anything, nor cut back on the frequency of the content or the quality of the content. Plus, I still have a job to do. And while I'd love to do this full time, that's simply not, a, not an option at the moment. So to make it fair to everybody involved, I created a Patreon today for these special requests. The monetary threshold will allow me to prioritize and limit these requests while still maintaining the regular operations of the YouTube and the Discord community. You'll notice in the discord that I created a patreon section while I'll be hosting these patron members and holding the private discussions with them on that platform I also have many goals that I want to achieve one of them is to grow the channel and the community as large as possible so it can thrive to its fullest potential and one of the immediate initiatives is to host live trading sessions that a lot of you've been asking for so part of the patreon will go to hiring a video editor so that I can free up some more of my time so that I can do these live YouTube trading sessions with you guys and grow the channel in general Keep in mind, this is completely optional. You absolutely don't have to participate in this and it will not under any circumstances affect the current content. I just needed a way to filter through all of the personal inquiries that I've been getting. Again, thank you so much for your continued support and thank you for tuning into the videos and joining the discussions. I appreciate all of you. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, Bitcoin futures. So how do the Bitcoin futures and the price manipulation affect Bitcoin and did it cause the recent crash that we saw in the market. First of all, please keep this date in mind, January 26th. That's the date of the next futures contract settlement on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange or the CME. You, you probably hear it referred to as that. Futures are basically the obligation to buy or sell security at a future date at a future price. So it's essentially legalized gambling for fat cats, whales, and Wall Street thugs. In very simplified terms, this is how it work. You buy a futures contract today stating that Bitcoin will be X price at a certain time. If you're right, you gain value. If you're wrong, you lose value. That's basically what it is. And there are futures for nearly every type of security, but Bitcoin futures hit the market back in December. So if you've been reading up on reasons as to why the market pullback happened over the last couple of weeks, I'm sure that one of the reasons you see quoted are the Bitcoin futures pricing and price manipulation. And in my honest opinion, that was one of the reasons, if not the main reason for the market pullback. And the way that the Bitcoin futures are set up today are basically prime for for a scam. And here's the reason I say that. So the CBOE futures are actually not tied to the worldwide price of Bitcoin. So not the price of Bitcoin on Bittrex or Binance or a combination of those. It's tied to the Gemini auction price. And Gemini is an exchange in the US. It's founded by the Winklevoss brothers. You probably know them from Facebook fame. And they hold these Bitcoin auctions, which are typically extremely low volume compared to the rest of the market. And so the CBOE settlement price is solely based on these auctions, these Bitcoin auctions. So even if Bitcoin on Binance or Bittrex say is 16,000, if nobody's showing interest in these Gemini auctions, the auction price of Bitcoin on the Gemini auction can be 10,000. So it actually has nothing to do with the stated price of Bitcoin on the exchanges that you and I go through. So here's how the scam would work. And again, it, it all works because uh, of two things. One, the low volume, and two, the fact that the settlement price of the entirety of the futures contracts is based on the Gemini auction price and not on the actual price of Bitcoin. So the scam would work like this. A whale can go to the CBOE with a chunk of change, buy up a bunch of futures contracts, betting on the price of Bitcoin being 14,000 in a month, for instance. And again, because the Gemini volume is so low, you, you can then go to the Gemini auctions right? Because that's where the price is pegged against. The price of the futures is pegged against the Gemini auctions and buy up a bunch of Bitcoin. Say you buy up 20 Bitcoin and drive up the price on the Gemini auctions, right? Because the more interest is generated on the Gemini auctions, it's an auction. 
the higher the price goes. So then you drive up the price of Bitcoin on the Gemini auctions to say 18,000. Your futures contract settles at the inflated price on the Gemini auctions of 18,000 and you gain value, right? Because your futures contract states that Bitcoin will be at a $14,000 price point, but it gets worse. So not only do you make your profit, right? By inflating the, the market artificially, but then you go to the open market because right now you have you have 20 Bitcoin that you bought from the Winklevoss brothers. You go to the open market and you sell the Bitcoin at the market price. Now, what happens if a bunch of people, a bunch of whales who have bought 20 Bitcoin have for sale 20 Bitcoin on the order books each? So imagine that you're on GDAX or Poloniex or whatever, and you see these buy orders, 20 Bitcoin, 20 Bitcoin, 25 Bitcoin, 15 Bitcoin, like these large orders of Bitcoin for sale. Well, obviously you're gonna see the volume bars, right? What you and I check every day, you're gonna see the volume bars spike up in red and there's gonna be a mass sell-off. And what happens when a ton of volume is generated by selling off? It creates a panic selling situation. Everybody wants to sell their Bitcoin and the price plummets. And then what happens when Bitcoin price plummets? Well, we know that Bitcoin and altcoins are inextricably tied. So once Bitcoin nosedives, altcoins nosedive. <laughs> And there goes the whole crypto market. So there's been a few people arguing that there simply isn't enough volume to tank the market from these futures that are tied to the Gemini auction. And my argument is it actually doesn't even matter because futures are a financial instrument that are recognized by the authority, right? By the official traditional financial markets, Wall Street. So if a bunch of fat cats bet on the price of Bitcoin to tank and they actually win, which is what happened with the CBOE futures, a week or so ago, then the headline is going to be, oh yeah, these Wall Street guys were right. Bitcoin is a fad. Bitcoin is just a toy for millennials. It's not a real currency. And what happens when those headlines gain legs? It creates a panic selling situation and the entire market goes kaput. So even if there simply isn't enough volume generated by these Bitcoin auctions, the mainstream media headlines and the Wall Street headlines alone are enough to generate a panic selling situation, right? That's how tenuous the crypto market is. We've talked about this before, but it's such a small, but it's so small in comparison to the traditional market that any stream of, of bad news or any wave of negative news can easily affect the entire market, right? And when Bitcoin tanks, the entire market tanks. It's not like, say, you know, if Intel on the stock market, if Intel nosedives, it does so in isolation, or if Nike takes a dive, it does so in isolation. Bitcoin is still the market driver. You'll see at the top of coin market cap, there's an indicator that says what percentage of the entire market is made up of Bitcoin. And there's a reason for that. It's still the market driver. So that's why, in my opinion, the futures play a vital part in the health of Bitcoin, at least in the short term. So look out for January 26th. That's the date of the next settlement of the futures contracts on the CME. If most of the contracts are made up of short contracts like the CBOE ones were, and the price of Bitcoin that they use falls short of the target and they actually win, look for another market dip. So January 26th, look out for that date and prepare yourself and have an exit strategy. All right, that's it. Subscribe for more crypto talk, trading strategy, and crypto news. Leave a thumbs up, comment, Leave your crypto addresses in the comments. Check out the Patreon if you want to. I made sure to create different levels with different rewards for everybody so that I don't price anyone out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.